During the bench test, I forgot to show you how to connect a display to your build. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So if you have a high powered build like this, like a five kilowatt, you need a uh, cycle analyst that's a high current one, not the regular one. Um, the reason is that it has actually a high capacity shunt with it too, so it'll work with it properly. So let me show you how to hook it up. So out of your cycle analyst, there's coming, there's three, plugs that we have to worry about for this stuff, for the controller and the battery. So we're gonna connect it to the high capacity shunt. There's the side with the writing on it. Um, it unfortunately doesn't have positive negative terminals labeled, but the writing over here is kind of indicator. So on this side right here, uh, the blue wire coming from the cycle analyst is gonna hook up over here. The black and white is gonna hook up right there. Um, so same thing when you are connecting your controller, the positive terminal is going to go right here with the E-Lock switch. And then this one right here coming out of the cycle analyst is going to go, all three of these are going to go right here. The, the battery negative terminal is going to go on this side next to the blue wire. And then the last connection is between the controller negative side and this side. So I'm gonna show you all that right now, but you know, if, if you don't wanna wait till me actually hooking it up, you can do it yourself, but let me hook it up right now. So the blue one's gonna go right here. And I'm gonna tighten all this with the screwdriver later. And the black and white one is gonna go right here. And then the negative terminal coming straight out of the battery, it's gonna go right next to the blue one right here. The positive terminal coming out of the battery, it's gonna go directly into the controller like before. And then you're also gonna add the E-Lock switch. And then don't forget this one, the one coming out of the cycle analyst, the, the red wire. I actually made an extension. It's not that long when it comes, but just make an extension and you have to put it right here. So I'm gonna put it, these two first. And don't forget to put the E-lock there, otherwise it's not gonna work. And then finally, the last one you have to do is connect this terminal to the negative terminal on the controller. So that's our last one. I don't have a plug made for it yet, but I'm just gonna use alligator clips for this uh, demonstration. Okay, so that is your setup. Make sure and nothing is touching. I'm gonna tighten all these with the screwdriver. I don't want to be loosey goosey like that. Okay, we have everything connected now. Let's turn the battery on. There you go. So we have a display now. So this is basically the basic screen right here, but if you wanna add more stuff to it, like a lot of fun, nerdy stuff, you can put the potentiometer, you can put a speed sensor now on it, a lot of different cool things on auxiliary cable. So uh, for that, I gotta make a separate video, but if you wanna hook up a display, uh, this is how to do it on this easy control.